Hi everybody, this is Nerdcon Limit, and we're gonna talk about Shangri-La Frontier. Shangri-La Frontier is written by Katarina and illustrated by Rizuke Fuji, and is based on Katarina Wet series novel of the same name, and is being serialized by Kodasha Weekly Shonen Magazine. Kodasha has collected into chapters and individual Takobon volumes. The story is set in the near future where the games are used as old-fashioned display screens are classified as retro games, while the full die VR games have become commonplace. As a result of those games become mainstream, there are some ones that are called trash games. Why are they called trash games? Well, are those games are rush, full of glitches in the system and cannot keep up with improvement of visual technology. Rakuro is a trash game hunter. He is an admirer of those usually bad games until he is able to master the difficulty of the games doing the glitches in the games. Rakuro has cleared and finished a lot of the games so-called trash games and he suffered of sort of burnout syndrome at the suggestion of the owner of his favorite game store called Rock Roll, he buys the best-selling and excellent game called Shangri-La Frontier, a full-die VR with 30 million registered players. He enters the world of Shangri-La Frontier as the player character called Sunraku, where all the skills he obtains for playing the trash games he will come handily as the progress of the game. The anime on July 7, 2022, an animated television series adaptation produced by C2C was announced. In 2023, Crunchyroll has the license of the series. Yes, it will be released in Japan first for maybe the two to three weeks and after that will be released in the United States through Crunchyroll. Well, this is Nerdcon Limit, and we see you soon for more news. ゲームに本気になる。多いに結構だろ。何事も本気で取り組んだ方が楽しいに決まってる。そうそう。本気で遊ぶから楽しいのさ。ああ、そうだった。君たちも大馬鹿だった。<笑>